Hey, welcome back. Today is December 23rd, Wednesday, and on this post, I'll be telling you about the overall crypto markets before diving into synthetics, SNX, USD. Again, I made a post on this earlier today, but I think I have to do another post because of that pullback we have seen in Bitcoin price action. Now, I'm going to be updating the scenarios for SNX for this post. And now I will also be telling you about the bullish and bearish case scenario according to what I'm seeing on the charts, as well as the short-term price prediction, according to what I'm seeing on the charts. Before I begin today, if you guys are watching me on YouTube, do subscribe. If you guys are watching me on TradingView, do follow me as I'll be keeping you updated on the latest crypto setups on my watch list, regardless if it's a good day or a bad day. If you guys don't want to support me and don't already have a Webull brokerage account, you guys can use my referral link down below. They're still giving away four free stocks upon a successful sign-up and a qualifying deposit. And I will also receive a referral bonus if you guys sign up under me. Please also read my full disclaimer below. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I'm purely sharing my own speculations, opinions on this market. I cannot tell you the future. And you should always do your own due diligence for trading or investing in this market as it is extremely risky and volatile. If you guys have any questions or comments, please do only leave them in the comment section below. But I will get to them a lot faster that way. Now, see what exactly is going on in the markets now since that pullback of Bitcoin price action. I still do see Bitcoin dominance through the roof at about 70% now, up over 3% since yesterday. And whenever Bitcoin dominance trends upwards, as I keep emphasizing, I'll be very careful of trading altcoins, especially when Bitcoin price action is looking to trend downwards. Now, on the Bitcoin price action chart, I do see possible well actually that bearish divergence could actually have been played out already on the bitcoin price action chart on the daily time frame causing that pullback we have just seen about an hour ago as of this video and something else to note though is that there is possible three-day bearish divergence on the bitcoin dominance chart so if that actually plays out that could be a short breather for trading altcoins but let's see what happens now let's take a look into snx USD and see what exactly has gone on since my last post. Now, since my last post here, I did mention, let's stop for, let's start all the way from the top here. Let's go on the weekly time frame and do see the backdrop of this chart here. And since about late August, September, I have seen this really uh, steep downtrend as I have seen with quite a bit of other altcoins and has formed somewhat of a falling wedge pattern here. And the breakout target if it's of that falling wedge pattern is about $7.05. That has, of course, been met when the price action went as high as about $8.70 before coming all the way back down to about $7 now. So that's pretty good if you guys have taken profit. Congratulations. Now let's take a look into the daily time frame where I do still see that the price action is being supported by this FIB level right here, the, the 0.78 FIB level. At about six dollars and ninety cents, let's see if this uh, support level can actually hold. We have about an hour left on this daily candle here, so if it actually holds above this support level, I'll be a lot more confident a lot uh, about the price action possibly going upwards. Still, from here, I don't see possible bearish divergence on the daily time frame as I'll be comparing the RSI here on this high with uh, this high so it's obviously higher the momentum is still there and on the three day time frame we still have about two more days until this three day candle closes and i don't see possible but i mean there could be possible bearish divergence here depending on how this three day candle ends up if it actually just makes a very small move then there is still possible bearish divergence but if it actually makes a significant move then i think this is negatable as i'll be comparing this rsi reading here is about 68 and the RSI reading to beat is about 74. So I think that's beatable, but really do be paying attention to, um, I'll be paying attention to this three day time frame here and see if it actually negates this possible bearish divergence. On the weekly time frame, I don't see any issues so far. Um, it's still not in overbought territory and no possible bearish divergence to actually compare it to. Now let's go to the hourly time frame where in my previous posts, I did see a possible symmetrical triangle pattern that was that was actually forming. However, I have to invalidate that initial symmetrical triangle pattern that looks something like this because of that downward movement in Bitcoin price action. 
and now it actually looks more like a double top pattern. And that measure target of that double top pattern is about $5.75 approximately. And the price action, since it has actually broken below that neckline of about $7.13, um, has went all the way down to about $6.30, about $6.30 before being supported by the four hour 21 simple moving average, as well as the six hour 21 simple moving average here. I think uh, how these candle closes, which all of them, um, well, at least most of them closes within about an hour or so. So seeing how this candle closes would tell me the likelihood of what the next price target would be. So for example, if this daily hourly candle closes above this fib level right here, the point four, the point seven eight fib level above six dollars and ninety cents, and of course above the hourly fifty simple moving average, then I would be looking at somewhere in about eight dollars and thirty five cents to be the resistance just from past trading history. Okay, so if price action can actually stay above six dollars and ninety cents, I'll be looking at about the eight dollars and thirty cents for about uh, approximate resistance. Now. The story would change if the price action starts closing, starting from the hourly time frame below this fib level about six dollars and ninety cents here. Okay, then I'll be looking for support below six dollars and ninety cents, which would include the four hour and twenty one simple moving average, the six hour twenty one simple moving average, and possibly even the twelve hour twenty one simple moving average, depending on which of these moving averages can actually hold up the price action for it to actually break back above this $6.90 FIB level. So depending on where this candle actually closes could really change the narrative of the price action for about the next day or two. So that is what I'm looking for. Now let's explore the bullish and bearish case scenario. Bullish case scenario, very clear is if the price action can actually close on top of this fib level right here, six dollars and ninety cents approximately. Uh, I'm talking about the hourly time frame, four hour time frame, six hour. I think even up to the daily time frame as well. I'm looking for uh, that close within an hour. If the daily time frame down closes above the six dollars and ninety cent level, then my next price target would be about this resistance level right here that I'm seeing from just past trading history right now by eight dollars and thirty cents uh eight dollars and twenty five cents that's what I'm looking for but that is the bullish case scenario bearish case scenario if the price action starts closing starting with the hourly candle below this fib level right here then I'll be looking for support at about the four hour twenty one six hour twenty one twelve hour twenty one and see where the price action could actually bounce. But if actually gets below $6.90, $6.90 would become the resistance. Now, this is my update on SNX USD for now. Let me know if you guys found it helpful. Give me a thumbs up if you guys did. Let me know agreements, disagreements, feedback. I would love to hear them. Hope you guys manage your risk carefully. And if you guys would like to see any more of my most recently uploaded videos on YouTube, you guys can check out my links up here on YouTube. See you next time.